Welcome again to another unboxing review by Ainene. I want to thank iPhone for letting me take this one this time. It's a kind of a cool product. I'm really excited to use it. From the brilliant people who brought you the most used search engine around the world. Sorry, Bing. Gmail, Google Docs, Google Glass, Google Tissues. I bring you Google Cardboard. Oi, you want to be an Uh-huh. Hey, Sam. I need a I know. I had the same reaction when someone said this to me. Google Cardboard. Really, Google? Really? Do you do everything? But no, seriously, this is a really, really cool device. It is cardboard that folds out into this cool viewing device, and it has lenses and magnets that you can take your smartphone and put it inside with a special app and experience a virtual reality. Since I know very little about how this is going to look and work, except for the di diagram here and some things I googled about it, I don't really know a whole lot, so I'm ready to unbox it and try it out. Are you ready to try it with me? Let's do it. Let's do it. So, we have the box. And this is what's inside the box, they say. This cool little viewer. And on the other side, it has an umbrella inside, a cube hovering between two hands inside, um, it's a magnet, so if all else fails, we can just use this to hang photos on the fridge. I love these. I love these simple open, just one tab pull situations. 3D token! Hold up to camera. Is anything happening? Oh wow, look at that fancy packaging. Honestly, we weren't expecting a whole lot of high tech here. Let's see here. This contains magnets that may affect pacemakers. And we see some pieces here. And we see the lenses here. This looks like where your iPhone or other device may go. It also looks really small. But we'll, we'll see how that goes. assembled our Google Cardboard, we have to get our phone ready 
to use together. And the way we do that is we download the app. You can just go to g.co slash cardboard. It directs you to where you can download for your particular device. This works with Android and iOS. So I'm gonna be using my iPhone 6. And once we download the app, we can experience virtual reality. All right, so we go to the link on the phone and it takes us to the application where we can see kind of a preview, get the app, install the app, and then open it up. Very simple, get set up. All you have to do is point it at the QR code and it syncs it immediately with your viewer. And if you look inside, when you put the phone in, you'll see that there's this line and it really, that line needs to line up with the piece of cardboard here. My favorite feature so far is this magnet. They put it here so that you can use it to control your phone through the cardboard. It's very ingenious. It's just a simple magnet, and uh, that's how you flip through the different options on the app while you're using it. Like this. For obvious reasons, I can't film the experience, but I'm going to give this a try for the very first time on camera, and then you can see my reactions. Ready? This is going to be my first time ever putting Google Cardboard to my eyeballs. Okay, so far it's, um, it's okay. Okay, 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 we're doing some cool stuff here. Hawk rattle. <laughs> it's a carved hawk. Oh yeah, I can look from the top. I can look, yep, I can see the bottom. <laughs> this is really cool, guys. Okay, okay, this is called the Vatican mask. The back of the mask and the front. It's, it's a face that's doing this. Another kind of mask is called the Chief's Mask, and his face looks like this. Cool! There's a tutorial! <laughs> Tilts to get home. And as I click this button, it's taking me through to the next visualization. Tutorial, Explorer, Exhibit, Urban Hike, and Kaleidoscope. And as I'm turning my head, it's selecting. I want to show you guys what it looks like uh, this way, since I can't show you um, using the actual... Google Cardboard, but you see these are the images, so as you turn, it selects. No, that's it. I'm curious about Explorer. <gasps> oh! It brought me to a room in a museum. This is really cool. This virtual experience is amazing. I can see, as I'm turning around, I see everything around and behind me and below me. Oh, wow. <laughs> So I'm getting a little dizzy looking through this. I also experienced this when Gravity came out. I remember at one point I thought, oh no, I will never get through this movie, I'm going to vomit. And eventually my body adjusted to it, so I wonder if that's just sort of what I have to do here. I am blown away. I feel like I can touch this T-Rex face that's right in front of me. <laughs> I went to try to take a walk through the museum and it didn't work that way. And did nearly walk into a wall because you do forget. <laughs> very quickly that there's things in front of you. And then the next is masks. Yeah, so these are just a bunch of masks. And let's do an urban hike. <gasps> I am underneath the Eiffel Tower. This feels just like it did when I was there. It doesn't work when I walk, but when I look down, it tells me where I am. It says Paris. And then, in parentheses, it says click to go to Tokyo. I'm in Tokyo! A little dizzy looking at this. I have to take a break. But after I take a break, it says, click to go to Venice. Who's behind me? All right, now let's go to New York. We're in Times Square. Uh, Rome. Ooh, we're at the Colosseum. Now let's go to Jerusalem. It's a sunny day out. Now we're gonna go to Monte Carlo. Beautiful. London. The bridge. It's beautiful. It's beautiful here in London. <laughs> this is my favorite so far. We are underwater in the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, there's fish! And all right, we're on the last one. This is called Kaleidoscope. Press the button. Yes, okay. So instead of turning it and shaking it, you press a button and then the Google word becomes, oh, a kaleidoscope. And as you move, it moves just like a kaleidoscope. Very cool. <laughs> Uh, iPhone, do you want to come back here and actually experience Google Cardboard? Uh-huh. Ah, so if you do this, there's a secret menu, and then you click it, and oh. 
urban hike. Can I? This is good, but it's making me dizzy a little bit. I don't know, but it's really it's um, really impressive. Yeah, thank you very much, Ainine, for being letting me be in your video. So uh, that seems to be it. I'm curious, how do you create a virtual reality with just cardboard, a couple lenses, a magnet, rubber band, and your little iPhone screen? To answer this question, I went straight to the woman that just knows all the answers, Professor. Professor, would you mind explaining to us uh, exactly how this works? Thank you, Ainene, for that enthralling introduction. Uh, I'm really happy to be here to explain how Google Cardboard works using scientific knowledge. What you first need to understand is something called bifocal vision, which bi meaning two. So what we have here is your eyes. One eye, you're seeing everything that this eye sees. And when you close this eye, and in devices like this one. First, uh, the app, the cation phone. So it's one screen, but it's been split into two. It's on the Google Cardboard. I kind of see it when I put it into the camera. It's very blurry because it bends the light and depth perception is altered. We can look at the eye from the side. Each screen, your mind interprets it. It blocks your, your peripherals, which you close off the reality. Combining images with a slightly different depth, so that it's very funny. It's a <laughs> yeah. the effect of the the Google cardboard. Uh, back to uh, when Aristotle was looking. Oh, I'm terribly yeah. sorry. Um, yeah. Um, you know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give him some links or something. So. My uh, first impressions, you kind of already got the idea of what I thought about this as I put it on. It's really, really cool. This was loaned to me, so I'm not sure how much it is. But overall, I'm super impressed with this because this is such a simple way to go about this kind of experience. But I believe that the virtual reality, augmented reality devices are going to have really great applications for things beyond entertainment. Therapy for people who have, for instance, people who have specific phobias. If there are people who are, for example, bedridden or people who may never be able to fly to these places, it's going to be a really cool thing for them to be able to experience it from their own home. The negatives, uh, again, I got dizzy going through that reality, but as a person who's prone to that, I don't know if everybody experiences it, but without going into too much detail, when your mind is seeing something and your body isn't feeling it, that's often a reaction you'll get. So that is Google Cardboard. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support you all show and the interest you show when you ask me to make these videos. I'm sorry I can't make them as often as you'd like. Big thank you and shout out to Ima because she uh, loaned this to me to do this unboxing and that means that I got to experience it before she did. Uh, thank you iFondo because I know that he could have easily taken this and done a review but I really wanted to do a review and I really wanted to do it on something that interests me. Um, thank you very much. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. The more subscribers I get, the more reason I have to make these kind of videos. I do make videos with cover songs and sometimes original music, and those will be coming a little more frequent in the coming months. I really appreciate all the support you guys are showing. I really appreciate how much you wanted me to do this kind of thing, and I love doing it for you. If there's something you'd like me to review specifically, you can let me know in the comments below or on my Facebook, facebook.com slash I am Ainene. I'll put all this information below for you so all the links are there. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Snapchat. I am Ainene. What do you think about Google Cardboard? Uh, would you customize yours if you had one? Would you paint on it? Would you draw on it? I'm, I'm fairly certain that if this were mine, I would paint it pink. I'd probably put some stickers on there and some like little skulls. And Have you ever used something like this? Uh, have you ever used something even better like Oculus? I've never, ex I've never used any other device like this before. So this is my very, very, very first impression. And if you've used it, I mean, what were your thoughts? And as an added bonus, 
I wanted to let you all in on a secret to the best real experience you can have. And it'll cost less than even this cardboard. It's really simple and it's one of my favorite things to do always. You just, whatever device you're on, whatever computer, phone, however you're watching this, there's going to be a little button. Uh, sometimes the button has a one and a zero on it. And sometimes it's just uh, a little button that's just there and you know what it's for. It's in a specific location. For instance, on my iPhone, it's this button on the side here on the same side as the camera lens. And uh, it's really simple. And all you have to do is hit that button and uh, take a walk outside.